I'm Jenna Zibton and this is your 10 News Monday update. The United States Surgeon General says a national peak with the Omicron variant likely won't happen for weeks. According to the CDC, the country's averaging more than 780,000 new cases a day, despite issues with testing access. The White House says they're pushing to increase access to testing. Starting Wednesday, you'll be able to request free rapid antigen tests. While many schools are closed today for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, many plan for the possibility of having remote learning days if weather and roads continue to be an issue. In an email to parents, Roanoke County said if significant snowfall causes schools to be closed for multiple days, they may consider virtual learning for part of the week. Nelson County preparing for remote learning too, but said if there were widespread power outages that would prevent teachers or students from accessing the internet, they wouldn't. Today would have been Betty White's 100th birthday. Animal shelters across the country are taking part in the Betty White Challenge. The Roanoke Valley SPCA is doing a fundraiser on Facebook trying to raise $5,000. Angels of Assisi is working to make its food pantry more accessible. The Betty White Food Pantry will be open 24 hours a day outside operating under the motto, take what you need, leave what you can. You can always get your news, weather, and sports on the go with WSLS.com and the 10 News app. I'm Jenna Zibton, 10 News, working for you.